here we have the new Google Pixel Watch 2. And this smartwatch comes with a whole lot of features. And today we will go over the top 10 best features. And let's start with WhatsApp and your notifications. If you swipe up on your smartwatch, you will get to all of your notifications and you get basically everything that you will get on your smartphone as well. Emails, SMS, missed calls, TikTok, Instagram, and so on. Plus you can even reply to notifications as well. And the best way to do it is with WhatsApp. You can either get to it if you scroll all the way down on your message or just open up the app and look for the right conversation. And WhatsApp on your watch is almost the same as on your phone. You get all of your conversation, chats and group chats. And if you click on one, you can look through the whole conversation and even see pictures, even though they are pretty small on your watch. And if you want to, you can respond with either one of the quick reply options. You can go ahead and type your own message and even send back a voice message. Hands down, my favorite feature on the Google Pixel Watch 2. Next up, we got offline music. So since you have 32 gigs of internal storage and the Google Play Store, you can download all kinds of apps, including YouTube Music, Spotify, Deezer, Amazon Music, or SoundCloud. So I am a Spotify user, and as long as you have a Spotify Premium account, you can go ahead and download all of your favorite songs right to your watch. It also works with your playlist and podcast, and now you don't need your smartphone with you anymore if you want to listen to music during your workouts. So I just mentioned the Google Play Store and all the music streaming apps that you can download, but there is much more. Over here, you can download WhatsApp, which we already covered. There are lots of extra watch faces that you can download in addition to the ones that you already have by default on the watch and on the Google Watch Face Store. There are lots of health and fitness applications like Strava, Adidas Run, Cardiogram, or a water drink reminder, or a tab with some essential apps for you. So since we have a built-in mic and a speaker, we do get a phone feature. So we can either look in our contacts book and start a call from over here. We can check out the recently called ones or use the dial pad and dial a number over here. Plus we can also set favorites to find some people a little bit faster than others like your family members. Another feature that we can use with the built-in mic and speaker is the Google Voice Assistant. This one and Siri are by far the best ones that you can get on a smartwatch in my opinion. You can ask for the weather, set timers, check out the bio of your favorite basketball player, and you don't have to read since Google talks to you. Next, we have the safety features. That feature is a little special and not for everyone. So first up, you have to set up one or more emergency contacts and your emergency informations. And then if something happens to you, the watch is sharing your real-time informations and locations and all that stuff with all of your friends. There's also a safety check, like if you're outside and it's dark and you don't feel safe, you can activate this one and set a timer. And if you can't confirm if everything is all right after the end of the timer, your emergency contacts will get an alert and your location. What I really like about the Pixel Watch 2 is that you can choose between the Fitbit exercises and the normal Google Fit workouts. There are really a lot of sport modes that you can choose from like canoeing, CrossFit, HIIT workouts, golf, yoga, weightlifting, and a lot more. You can also change the stats that are being displayed during your workouts. There are four slots in total and with 10 available stats. Now the built-in GPS on this watch is also great. It has GPS, GLONASS, Baidu, Galileo, and Quasi Zenith. And with them all working together, you get a very accurate route tracking on your runs and your bike tours. It gets every turn that you take. In the open, it is dead accurate. And in the beginning, it does find the GPS signal rather fast. I also have to mention the watch phases that you get on this watch. The ones that you get by default are very basic, but also customizable. You can change the color if you want to, but also the whole style of your watch face with sometimes four different styles. And of course, you can change the display metrics as well. By the way, you can also change the complications and all that from your smartphone. Over here, you will also find plenty more watch faces, but I would say they are very basic and not as fancy as the ones that you get on Samsung watches or Apple watches, but still pretty decent. You just have to look through them and you will definitely find one that you like. Up to the battery life. So the Google Pixel Watch 2 lasts a little longer than the Apple Watch Series 9 and almost as long as the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. With the always on display mode enabled and all of your health trackers running in the background in very heavy usage, you get about 24 hours of battery life. But the great part is the charging speed. In just 30 minutes, it goes from 0 to 50%, in 45 minutes to 80, and it takes 75 minutes to fully charge this bugger. Lastly, the specs and the price. For about 400 euros over here in Germany, you will get a 1.2 inch AMOLED display that lights up with a peak of 1000 nits. It is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 
and the frame consists out of 100% recycled aluminum. You will get two strap sizes with this watch, one that fits on wrist with a size of 175mm and a larger one fits on 210mm wrists. By the way, the soft silicon strap really feels nice and has a soft coating. The only downside is that this watch is only compatible with Android smartphones and this size. Overall, it's just a 41mm smartwatch and there's no other size available and it's definitely too small for my taste. And guys, there we have it. That's the Google Pixel Watch 2. Now I've also covered the Google Pixel Watch 1 from last year. Just click right here to get right to the video. And I guess with that one being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.